Hey guys, what's going on? Um, we are going to be continuing our little adventure here in California. We're going to go with part two. And, um, alright. Well, obviously we're starting off on the right foot here. Got ourselves a nice salmon. Go ahead and throw that in the, uh, in the cooler. Today I'm at the dam portion. And when you spawn in, you spawn in all the way over there, and you just follow the rocks and uh, wade out as far as you can. I've got the five six ounce bullet spinner two watt. It's a uh, I don't know what they call it. I think it's a wasp. I think that's the pattern. Let's find out here. Oh, it's the beetle. That's what it is. It's not the wasp. It's the beetle. Yellow beetle. So, um, all right. We're going to get out there and see if we can't get some more of these salmon. Now there's two spots here that I found a fish. Um, one is off over here by this rock in this in this area over here. And two is between here and here. You know, you just want to cast in these general areas. All right. You got snags and shit, but nothing too big. So... Right now we are going to uh, we're going to see what we can't get over in this way. Now you can use bait over here as well. Um, minnows, large minnows, is preferred. Uh, that's what you, that's what you're really going to want to work on uh, if you've got the gear for it, because you can catch some massive fish uh, on bait and large minnows. I mean, I've caught trophies off of this too. It's riding the rock right now, so I got a little bit too close to that rock there. I think. Um, and that's something you want to be careful for. You want to you want to get it close to the rock, but you don't want to get it, you know, to where the line goes up and over. So it's kind of a, a challenge because they they hang out right behind there. Now, if you're fishing with the bait and bobber, it's a lot easier because then it just um, it'll just kind of follow the current back out towards the middle there. But you want to let this thing sink all the way down to the bottom. And just nice and slow, just straight and slow. Let it let it even glide against the bottom. Eventually, it'll come back up. Oh, don't don't do that. That was I did that. That was oh, see, little finger twitches. Don't do the finger twitches. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll keep casting out, and uh, we'll see what we can get into. Yep, there we go. <clears throat> Probably a bass. Yeah, it's bass. So there's gonna be a couple things we're gonna catch here. Um, obviously, the bass being one of them, because uh, they're they're going after the same things that the salmon are going after. So, I'll go ahead and keep that guy. And if you guys caught my California fishing part one uh, video, we got a bunch of bass and I think it was uh, steelhead. Um, I did a little bit more fishing over in that area. You can also get striped bass as well. Uh, some pretty decent sized striped bass. So. We might go back to that part. We might revisit that part of California uh, or the this uh, lake and go uh, catch some striped bass too. Probably not in this video. This video we're going to focus on the salmon and that's pretty much it. I mean that's, that's why I'm over here by the dam right now is for the salmon. Oh there we go. Probably another little bass. Yeah another little bass. That's all right. At least we're getting something here, huh? And that's that's the thing. It's like we're not always going to catch the salmon, um, even with the baits. A lot of the times you end up catching the bass too, but that's okay. Makes it all that much more worthwhile when we do catch them. So I hope everybody's having a good weekend so far. I know it's Sunday, so it's the dreaded Sunday, or as I like to call it, no pants Sunday. Um, it's like the one day of the week where I just, I don't want to wear pants. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. And I think, and I can't, and I think, uh, if your name is, was it the gamer or something? I, I can't remember what your YouTube name is, buddy. I'm sorry. Um, you were trying to friend request me, uh, off of my last video. I think I got your friend request. I did approve it. So. Um, if you're on and I'm on, let's do some fishing. 
Uh, I normally go into a friend's only room. Uh, or I'll go into like my own, you know, my own private room. Um, just because it's, it's, you know, it's so much easier just to, uh, have either no, no people or just a, just a few people around, especially when I'm recording this stuff. So, we'll, uh, we'll get together and do some fishing. And of course, uh, anybody out there, if you guys want to do some fishing, let me know. And if you want to record some fishing, let me know. Because I would not mind having somebody to, uh, to kind of bullshit with for these videos while we, uh, try to land some of these good fish, so. Oh, there we go. Oh, this ought to be a good one. This ought to be a good one. There we go. That's not a bad sized fish. Not a bad sized fish at all. Yep. Another little bass? Yeah, another little bass. You see, I'm set up for salmon. That's why I'm just reaming these things in like they're nothing, but... And another bass. We're just racking up the bass today. Well, let's try back over here. You get most of the salmon in the morning. Um, peak time in the morning. That's the best time to get them. I mean, you can just, you can slaughter them fish after fish after fish after fish. So they, it, towards uh, later morning all the way up, it seems to get a little more difficult to catch them. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll keep trying. You know, here's one, but we're, what, one, two, salmon, one, two, salmon, so. Maybe that's the maybe that's the pattern here, <laughs> but uh, these aren't bad fish. I mean, in real life, I would not eat this. In real life, I probably wouldn't even keep this one. I, and if I did, I'd feed it to my dog, because that's disgusting. Um, after they lay their eggs, they start to turn red, because after they lay their eggs, they start to die, and what happens is they um, they just slowly die. And I don't know if any of you guys have ever been out um, around salmon after they lay their eggs, but they start to stink. Um, they start to grow uh, because they're starting to die. Their outsides they start to get uh, splotchy after they get red. They get they slowly get pink, then they get red, then they get really really bright red, and then they um, then their color starts to fade out. And they just start swimming real slow, and they start getting these uh, skin splotches on them. Um, uh, it it kind of looks like a fungus, and uh, eventually they just they just can't swim anymore, and they just float. And when they then they die, and that's that's their life cycle. So, in real life, when you want to fish for salmon, is not at the end of their life cycle after they leave their eggs at the at the lake you want to get them when they're coming up the river or you want to get them when they're in the ocean that's when you want to get them um, but for the sake of the game the simulator here it's a nice fish um, but for the sake of real life that is disgusting <laughs> and that might just be me being spoiled coming from Alaska but uh, I wouldn't feed that shit to my family. I would not. I'd make dog treats out of it. So, if anything. Oh, there's one of those snags we were talking about. There we go. And see, a lot of these, there's not one tough snag here that I found, so. We'll see. Who knows, maybe I'll find that one rock that's going to take my, my lure here. Oh, there we go. This is why I love using the bullet spinner. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for part two of California. This is where you get the salmon and the bass. And this is how you get the salmon.
and the bass. I know you don't want to you don't want to go catch two pound bass when you're when you're you know higher up in level and and uh, you can go for the bigger trophy fish. But this is uh, this is just fishing. This is great. This is the funnest part of it. You know you you can throw out one lure and catch multiple types of fish. Um, and it's kind of like it's it's kind of fun because you never really know exactly what you're gonna get uh, with each cast. You could come up empty-handed. You could get snagged and lose your shit. You can, you know, you can get your salmon. Um, you can get your bass, your striped bass. Uh, as always, you guys, uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, please feel free to let me know. Any hints, tips, tricks, uh, anything like that, please feel free leave that in the comments for me and uh, as always if you guys want to add me on fishing planet as a friend we can fish together uh, my game name is norcal game time it's the same as my channel makes it very very easy so uh, to those people who are subscribing to me thank you I appreciate that you guys are letting me know that I'm you know doing a halfway okay job here of uh, putting out some informative videos and uh, please let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see. Um, and of course, if you guys want to do a, a video with me, um, we can always do that. Or we can just go fish and shoot the shit. So, alright everybody, as always, happy fishing. <laughs>